Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Starfield. In the last video, we joined, as an undercover agent, the Crimson Fleet. Now, we've only just gone through the initial part of the process. We met this lad over here, who's our uh, money man. And now we're going to head upstairs to meet the big, big, the big, blah, 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 the big boss themselves. I can't remember the name. Delgado, that's the name, because it freaks me out. It's too similar to my own name. I have to tell me it's such a... Oh, this is cool. Man, if I'd come just a little bit further, I could have got a the much cooler screenshot for, for the thumbnail for the last video. Because look at that, that's awesome. Eh, is that awesome? I think that's probably awesome. Eh, it's... Um, ooh, look, look. Mm, mm. You know, maybe I turn these filters off too easily. They're pretty cool, some of them. Bam. Family you need. Ah, Delgado, of course, he has a mustache. Everyone called Delgado has a mustache. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. And eyeliner, apparently. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neighbors willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you. Which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Mascara? Yeah. Uh, I won't disappoint. You'd better not disappoint. Or you'll find yourself answering to me personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits, no one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends, fleet before family, fleet before yourself. You're dramatic, sort, aren't you? I hope that doesn't include fleet before breakfast. I like to sleep late. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Who is joking? Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. He hasn't said anything. <laughs> you two seem so eager to move forward. Let's get to your next job. I guess that does mean it's the first Back intelligent thing he said. Cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God. Don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as neighbor calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Sure. Maybe you should tell me more about Crix's legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crick's left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Let's get on with it. Sounds like someone wants to get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Okay, enough discussion. Send me daughters. Got a lot of work to do. That's for sons. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. 
What kind of pirate doesn't have a ship? Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay, well, let's have a little poke around. Long live the fleet. You know, Need the fleet, they may be Every spooky -y pirate people, but they've clearly got, like, all these rules and initiations and a respect for the past and the history and all this kind of jazz. It reminds me of... Um, <clears throat> It actually reminds me of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, wherein, uh, are you following me? Oh, it's Andreja, no wonder you're following me. <laughs> when Smitty tries to join the gang again, and... It... Oh god, I'm dying, help. Sudden demon in my throat, not in a fun way. Um, what was I saying? You know... <laughs> no, I'm not getting into that. Um... <laughs> But, um, but, um, yeah, they've clearly got, we'll go check the bar in a second, actually. Actually, we'll go Rook. check the bar first, question mark. I'm seeing if anyone's got a name. Let's go, let's hit, let's hit up the, oh, hello. Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. <clears throat> <laughs> Nobody say a word, okay? That's how we are, what's this? The Depot. Need a drink? Bog at the last Nova. I came this way. More than happy to take your credits. Oh, it just wraps around, I think. Okay, let's check out the bar. Um, Smitty tries to join the gang again. And there's like a weird initiation and a weird ring, and they really although they're the worst people on the planet, they've got this adherence to to structure and rules and pomp and circumstance that you wouldn't expect from such things. And I get the feeling these lot might just be the same. I mean, look at this. What's this fancy ass thing doing here? You see, you'll never crush the fleet. They'd have to catch us first. Do you like your helmet? Tips. I'm surprised I'm allowed to take this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Normally, pirates don't need to brag about their accomplishments. What are you yeah. looking at? You're just staring at each other. Bradley called me his friend once. He made me want to vomit. This is part. This is a cool ass bar. I mean, look at this view. Some hard war mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. Always ask the fleet protects our own, but you turn against us and you're dead. Woo! This is great. Yeah, <laughs> I feel all over this. My friend's got a point. Hey, Cap, are you hiring? Got some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. Seems to me, instead of trawling deep space for stick I can simplify. She'll be safe with me. Boy, am I glad to hear that. It's the Varun Zealots who are after me, and they don't give up easy. I'd be done for if they saw my ship out in the space lanes. That sounds so bad. You're welcome to join my crew. If the Varun Zealots don't sound like a problem to you, then I can't wait to see what you're made of. Ah. Uh... Chase. And the sights of much. Fine, suit yourself. Sorry, Jasmine. I mean, I don't need the money, but I also don't really need the crew sure. <laughs> at this point in time, do I? I do. I mean, I think we can have these people follow us around. So it's again, it's something we'd maybe do a new game plus. But for now, oh, interesting. I wonder if I can find evidence here. Like maybe I could break into that. I saw the captain's cabin. Maybe I can break into that. Scared to take the key because it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Well, I was wondering when you'd wander my way. Hey, Bog. The name's Fergus. <gasps> but that's my dad's name. Fergus Wickham. But you could call me Bog. Welcome to the Last Nova, where the drinks <laughs> are never free. We've got Fergus and we've got Delgado. I'm not saying. It's not a coincidence. But I'm just saying. <laughs> just found my new home away from home. As long as you're buying, stay as long as you like. The last Nova never sleeps, so no last call here. It's really Since it's my your kind of place. Time with us, I'm willing to make an exception to the rule and offer you my speciality on the house. One free bottle of Bog's Grog. Sounds disgusting, I'll take it. That's the spirit. I knew you'd be the adventurous type. And if you like it, you're in luck. Cheapest drink you can find. And guaranteed to drown those sorrows. Anything you can tell me about the last Nova? 
Nova wasn't always the lovely sight you see before you. <laughs> she used to be a hydro farm and put up quite a fight when we decided to give her a makeover. Overgrown water everywhere. I almost gave up. But what's a proper home without a pub, eh? Good lad. We'll see you next time. Oh, now he puts the bloody gun away. The music is proper, like, we screamo music. <laughs> but to the fleet, they are just bait. Yeah, this is very. It needs a, it needs a pool table. What kind of pub doesn't have a pool, ta a pool table? But other than that, pretty cool place. Some people. I love a Mel bar. I'm not even into Mel, really. Fleet is <clears> not <throat> it's not Mel. No matter your relationship with them. I did not they even do it. It's just, just car, chill your boots. I do like the idea. Like, if we can come to the Crimson Fleet next time and hire one of those pirates as our companion, and just have a companion with us who's a bit of a maniac, sounds like a lot of fun. Just to mix things up, you know? Anywho, let's chat with everyone. Let's chat with the, uh, the doc. Got some health issues you need help with? No, do you First need time help? visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Try not to get into too many bar fights. I'm trying to save my dwindling supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids. You don't have to worry about me. I'm practically bulletproof. <laughs> That's what they all say. Until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. So here's what's what. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives. I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. You need enhancers, legal or illegal? I've got those too. Keep it all in mind. Hopefully that won't be often. Now, if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. Sure sounds like a quest. Maybe I can help out. Now, there's an offer I didn't expect. If you really want to help, I'm looking for someone who can handle themselves in a public setting. As in someone who knows how to get the job done without shooting up the place. Come on me. Well, you'd be one of the first. I politely requested a list of supplies from Gennady Aton at the clinic and was told the price of business has gone up. I think he's back on Aurora and he's upcharging me to pay for it. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do is subsidize his habit. I want you to make sure he delivers my supplies for the price we agreed on but without raising any alarms. Your mouth is very weird. We'll see. Talk is one thing, actions are another. So big. <laughs> Be careful. I don't have any supplies. I don't know if that's a really weird thing to say, but her mouth is humongous. I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna nip upstairs and see if we can't find Where's the bloody elevator? Ah oh, there it is. No, that's a bar. Isn't it around here? Am I stupid? Maybe. I'm so confused now. Where's the elevator? <laughs> like, we were here. Okay, I don't think it was in here. Is this it? No. Ah, here we go. Like I said, I saw the captain's bits. I'm just gonna see if we can get in and maybe get some evidence for UC stuff. <clears throat> okay. Nothing too suspicious in here. All right, where was it? I definitely saw. I think it was probably down here, wasn't it? I saw the words captain anyway, so I'm assuming that's what I'm looking for. Is it down here? Captain's quarters. Yes, there we go. Which ones? Around here? No, I don't think so. Ah, this one. And it opens. That can't be it. Okay. Not neither of these look like captain's quarters, and I also wouldn't expect to be able to just open the captain's quarters doors with like no work required whatsoever. That seems strange. This does not look like a captain's room, does it? But neither did this one. And also, I'm not finding anything. I don't know if I'm meant to be looking around. Like, 
I suppose that maybe I'll just stumble upon something on a quest, and that's kind of what I'm meant to be doing, but... You know, I figured it doesn't hurt to have a little poke. Okay, this is looking more Captain-y. Well, I'm still not seeing anything. And I still got in rather easily. <laughs> But uh, might have to have a little poke at this. Let's just let's just get that shot. There doesn't seem to be anyone. God knows where everyone is, but no one's here at the moment. So uh, let's pop this open. It looks like it's probably another deep course. Uh, to be honest, it looks like this is a massive waste of time. But you don't know if you don't find out. Hey, it's the most useless sentence in human history. You don't know unless you don't find out. You don't know unless you find out. Well, no shit. <laughs> I hope you can succeed at that before. We Holstered deep mining spacesuit is rubbish. Looks good though. Weapons weigh fifty percent less. That's not bad. It's rubbish. Yeah. You're discovered. Okay, I'm gonna have a look down there, but I don't see <clears throat> nothing here is screaming captain's quarters at me. You know. Oh, hello. Yeah. Honestly, right now the credits are not worth me having to go all the way to the bloody den. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I've explored all of these. It says Captain's Quarters. Maybe it is meant to be down, further down. But then there's an arrow there. It's very confusing. I think this is just going to take me down to where I was. But... Oh, hey. Is Samina seeing anyone right now? The patients, I mean. I got a sword here. Uh, let's say... Like a pet heat leech? I don't know. I don't want to kill it just in case it belongs to someone. I'm not going to murder their pet. Oh, hello. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Fine. Go ahead. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education, and your sheltered upbringing, and your cushy media job. Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds. And they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No. That's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all the sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you. In front of everyone. Do you understand? I, uh... I understand. You have my word. Ah is an intense dude, to say the least. Rage. Thank you. Okay, interesting. Well, that was part seven the of the end. Ah, oh, he's got a little toy. Adorable. But this is uh, quite a large area, actually. I don't think that counts as evidence. So I don't see what that would be useful as evidence for, because it's a, assumedly a publicly broadcast interview, right? So I don't, I don't, I, I'm, you're just watching him sleep. <laughs> That's very weird behavior, just so you know. What game is this? Snow Lord. I saw people on Reddit trying to figure out the rules to Snow Lord. <laughs> Nobody was successful. Shockingly enough. I, just, I found part seven. I found the final part of that interview before any of the others. It's like the bloody moon thing all over again. Maybe, I mean, for all I know, there is only part seven, you know? 
Okay, let's head out of here. Well, let's go check out the shops, actually, is the first idea. Ship surfaces are repaired this way. Ah, okay. Now I see how it wraps around. So, we've got tactical gear. Now you buy from me, you can look. I'll only the best protect. Let's see what he's got. Like weapons, of course, rubbish. Spacesuits. They're superior. 588. That's really high, actually. Wait, what's mine? 54. That's the first time I've seen one that's actually higher. Now, that's obviously got minus 15 from robots, which isn't actually worth anything, to be fair. But it does have all my upgrades on it. So the chances are this isn't worth taking just because I'd have to do the upgrades again, and I can't be bothered with that. Uh, calibrated, calibrated, refined. Uh, one six. Oh, actually, kind of looks cool, but oh, that actually looks awesome. This game really needs a transmog option. I, I was kind of thinking maybe I could find something for uh, Andresia. I don't think so. that if that was I do I need something darker is what I'm looking for. Stay safe out there. Oh, that's very nice of you, Mister yeah. Mister Pirate. Weapons for all occasions. Okay, this is Gun Girl. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. They've all got very clean hair, don't they? Let's see you to buy. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. All right, clean I hair. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally... I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff Sister doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over, or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Can you not tell that I'm a I'm a player character? Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui. The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. What did she call me? You bleed for the fleet. The fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I just want to buy some bloody guns. <laughs> Most people just glaze over and learn the hard way. Maybe there's more to you than I thought. I just want to buy some bloody guns. Kinetic, Electromat. All right, let's have a little look of the PS. Mm. Pirate Legend. They really need to make the unique guns. Um, I guess that isn't much of a unique gun, actually. They really need to make the unique gun scale. Yeah, it's got like a little pirate symbols on it. That's awesome. Why doesn't it scale? Look at this fury, a feather. Look at Feather. Look at Fury. It's a Tommy gun. But they don't scale at all. It's stupid. Why would you not make them scale? It's so confusing to me. What's a big bank? Particle beam shotgun. Awesome. Um, okay. So the only thing that's tempting here is the shotty. Does it 1147 DPS? Mine does. Seven. So, yeah, <laughs> that's enough reason to buy the shotty. I don't really like the coachman, obviously, does much higher DPS, but as I've said many times at this point in time, the coachman DPS is overinflated, in my opinion, because uh, the mag size that's got 20 mag, that's got two, so you're gonna reload so much more with that. All right, cool. You shotty, I'll take that. Uh, aid, nah, all right, good talk. If I ever find a any upgrade at all, I'm pretty happy. Not that I'll probably use it much, but that's neither here nor there. Why did that instantly go into my... Oh, whatever. Relax. Energy weapons. Nothing's a substitute for shotgun blast. General goods. All right, make it quick. All right, let's get this... That's some good customer service, sir. Resources. Lots of things I don't have. Positron batteries. I know we needed those. Oh, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of those. Stick those on the ship. I just remember needing 
positive on batteries. I don't remember why. I assume it's an upgrade for something. Uh, anything good in aid? Not really. Okay. You related to Malay Liskova. You know my sister. And you're still alive. Malay? Hmm. You either somehow won her approval or... Best not to think about it too much. Bad for business. I Whatever. do not remember who Malay Liskova is, if I'm totally I honest. I do not have any loose creds to stuff about the I fully fully expect We can you talk about whatever you want, when as long as you show. got the creds. What have you got? Whoa, look at that thing! Pain Blade! Actually, it does a lot of damage. 89 damage on a melee weapon. Mine does... Mine does 61. But it does make them bleed and stuff, and it looks cooler. As cool as that looks, and it does look pretty cool. Uh, all these guns suck. Although, again, Hunter Wolf. I don't know why that's unique at all. It doesn't seem like it's got anything unique about it whatsoever. Power Beat. None of them scale, because it's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know, it's an arc welder. Oh, cutter. Uh, mm, no. Rubbish. 15% Intimidation. Diplomacy, I don't do any of those. Nope. Interesting. She sells some weird stuff. <laughs> Why videotape and a starter? Um, Why those two things? Don't be a stranger. What weird porn have you been making? Anyways, right, I think we can leave. I think we're pretty good. Box rules for the Nova. Don't piss me off. Everyone drinks. Sober? Get out. Drink at your own risk. No killing unless they deserve it. Got a grudge? Spit it out. I'm a bartender. I don't read minds. No pissing on the walls. No hugging the ping pong table. I pick the music. Message from Shinya Voss. Credits are the lifeblood of the fleet. Our entire operation would not exist if not for their blood slet, slet. If not for the blood, sweat, and bullets of the pirates doing the work and the consolidation of their earnings here at the Key. Let me make myself clear. While we have facilities outside the Key, I expect any funds outside of standard operational costs to be brought back to the Reckoner's core. We've had incidents where fleet members have taken over operations on various planets through the shuttle systems and skimmed a little bit too much off the top. Suffice to say, they paid a steep price for their lack of transparency. Make sure you don't do the same. It's from Neva. Doesn't matter if you think your bird is clean. When you dock, check with Jazz and her team to do a full repair. Scan your ship for any dings or bugs. Security on this station isn't about the swarm of patrols we got out there or the three large batteries orbiting the key. It's the little things, the details. We've got to make sure to mine them. Weight room etiquette. As the doctor on this ship, I want to remind everyone of weight room etiquette. Of course, a typical doctor's role. Wipe down your equipment. Yes, bacteria grows in damp, warm areas. Wipe everything your skin touches. That includes the barbells and plates. Spotting. Let's try to avoid back injuries. If someone requests you spot them, do it. Don't forget to ask how you want to be spotted. Some people like a little help lifting off. This is good etiquette. Rotating in. If there's no free benches, good to let others rotate in between sets. Find someone your size. You don't have to change things up. Remember to follow rule one. Message board. <clears throat> Iceball tours. Delgado still taking rooks on a tour of that old prison. I wonder if there's still some good loot down there. I've got a cutter that will split an iceberg. I've been itching to use it. Rook, not for long. Just want to say you all better look out for me. You may be calling me a rook now. In a few months, I'm going to own this place. All of you are going to answer to me. I'm not afraid to put in work. 24-7, 365. When you all are sleeping, I'm hitting up the mission boards. When you all are eating, I'm hitting up the mission boards. When you all are breathing, thinking or existing, you already know. I'm hitting up the mission boards. Matis Castillo. Anyone meet that new rock? Mathis. I'd say the hell away from him. It's nothing personal. The man puts in the work. He's just a walking black cat. Every job I've ever done with the bloke ended badly. I was there when he set up a chem deal in the same drink. A squad of off-duty deaf agents decided to have breakfast. Street rats call him Hex. Look the word up. It don't mean good things. That's the guy we're about to go on a mission with, by the way. <laughs> Missing Wilby. Someone stole my friend Wilby. And since you are pirates, every single one of you is a suspect. I need that thing to sleep, so I better have it back in my bunk by tomorrow. There will be hell to pay. Hell, that's actually utterly adorable and breaks my heart a little bit. We're at war. I want to make this clear, we're at war with Sistef and with any war you eat creds. We need to build this machine up to where no army is a match for us. That means all of us pirates have to bust our asses every day to collect. I know Voss can be a bit much, but sometimes you need someone riding you. Just a reminder, the goal is there. If I had a billion creds, I'd run my own city, like Bayou. Except in my town, you could do Aurora anywhere. Oh, I got lost for a second. <laughs> Guess that wasn't obvious. A slow ship will get you 
Call to upgrade that Talk ship to yours? Jazz if you need upgrades. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. I've only just understood the Rook Meets the King quest that we got in the last video. <laughs> it may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. She seems very wholesome, doesn't she? All business and no fun, huh? What do you need? I'd like to view and modify my ships. Actually, let's see what you got for sale. I've got plenty of goodies to choose from. We're not going to buy any, but I'd like to take a little look. Crimson Fleet Reaper 3. Crimson Fleet Wraith 3. Does that have better jump than mine? Crimson Fleet Ghost. Spectre. Phantom. White. That's pretty cool. It's a big-ass reactor. See, this is what I mean. Surely I can get a bigger reactor. That's a 40 right there. Wait, where's the cock? Is that the cockpit? That's an awesome cockpit. All right, let's see what we can do here. Anything ship-related? If you've got the card. All right. Let's just see if there's anything we can do in terms of upgrades here. So what's my current reactor? My current reactor is a 38. Are there any... Oh, for God's sake, game. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Um, right, first question. Where's the reactor in my ship? You the reactor? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a craft drive. Where's the reactor? We went through this last time. I couldn't find the reactor. Does anyone remember where it is? So I think I remember it being on the bottom. But that's not an easy place to get to. Eh? Ah, there it is. Right. Okay, so that's a th I, well, let's just, let's just We're going to redo this in a sec. Let me just pull this out. Sell it. No. Actually, undo. Okay, sell this instead, just temporarily. And let's do a little bit of a comparison in the reactors. Alright, first of all, what's the most expensive one? 69,000. I think that's what I've already got. How can you sell ships with better reactors than I can buy? I've never seen a reactor go up to 40 that I've been able to buy. Theta Pinch D9, that's one I've already got. I want to upgrade. <laughs> um, okay, let's check my sh Let's just check some parts and see if they've got anything good here. Where's my... Where is my shield? That's that. Okay. So the shield generates max power 12, shield max health 1600. Can we do better than 16? No, I think so. Fourteen, fifteen. I mean, the fifteen might be good if it's. No, still max power twelve. Like if the max power was ten or something, that might be worth doing. But it doesn't look to be the case. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get the feeling this is going to be it. Yeah. You know? No. There's got to be they somewhere out there. Too many people have a reactor well with 40 in it. Someone out there must sell a level a 40 energy reactor. I don't know who they are, but someone out there does. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Shut up, you weirdo. Good day, Captain. Good day, Vasky. Why is Vas well, Vas Vasky is not a nickname? It's, fine moment. <laughs> it's the same fun. length as his name. It's not a nickety name if it's short if it's the same level. Separation, Captain. Alright, to proceed to the surface of Suvarov. To the lock. The old abandoned prison. Sounds cool. Landing gear's ready. And I can call this episode Lock and Key, which is great. 
solid tail. Mammoth of a ship. London on ice. <laughs> it seems like a terrible idea for a ship of this size. It's literally just directly chosen to land on the ice. <laughs> of all the bloody places to land. Oh wait, that's my ship. Oh, you've landed on the ice. It's running towards me. That's Andreja. Wait, I'm very confused. Of course, we gave Andreja a new helmet. She's rocking. I don't get to see a beautiful face anymore. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Oh, everyone's landed on the ice. All right, gang. How are we all doing? Pirate friends. About time you got here. All right, calm down. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Ah, <sighs> cut the crap. Let's get down to business. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. I have a feeling Mathis may not survive this little escapade. It's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. And hey, look at him, not me. If that doesn't work for you. Just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Fine, fine, go on, leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. All right, how come I have to wear it? Well, how come Andresia has to wear a helmet? <laughs> but I don't, that's strange actually, now that I think about it. <clears throat> I gotta say the crimson, the crimson fleet gear, like the the spacesuits, are pretty cool. I mean, like, I want this one. It's got like coattails. Red and gold is always a winning combination. Oh, huh. All right. Stealing my kills. I've got this, buddy. Don't you worry about it. These boros are so annoying. <laughs> Sprint. The lock. lock. If it was Scotland, it'd be the lock. Well, it's not. I mean, <laughs> weather-wise, it's not that far removed from Scotland. That's very much a dad joke, isn't it, really? I have to keep... Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I need to make sure I keep getting kills with the scope on. Where are you... Where are you... Where are you going? Come here. Unfortunately, <laughs> they're very, very close. It's not necessarily scope appropriate. Taking my kills. I'm trying to level up my scoping. Of these. These guys can borrow through goddamn it. Like before, it was ice. Now it's solid metal. And they're like, yeah, no worries. Hello? Couple more. Somewhere. Messing with the fleet? Oh, you're going to get yourself killed. People love smack talking fauna in this game. <laughs> Let's see what 
That's what you get when you mess with the fleet, adolescent Griloba. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Outpost engineering. How old this place is? I can't believe it's still standing. Yeah? Oh, good. I don't want the place collapsing on us. Typo. Colpox. I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. All right, Andresia. I'm just going to leave you out here in the cold this with the aliens. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. You just said you've been here several times. What are you on about the ID card? <laughs> we are in. I want some internal consistency here, buddy. Maybe we're exploring a different part of the lock. Oh, this is cool. <clears throat> In a way, First time I've been inside this part yeah, of the lock, okay. so keep your eyes open. I quite like having my flashlight off because it makes theirs stick out more. In a cool way. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? Four. A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much. said I'm not allowed to lock I'm gonna I'm oh, I didn't mean to take that <laughs> on no planet do I want an adaptive frame what are you expecting to be down here it's pretty cool I'm like an excitable child running ahead of their parents Papa, I want to play on the horses. Hurry up. It's like Christmas Day. Too excited. That looks awesome to me. I love a light. Lights are great. Lights are the absolute... Lights are just cool, man. They just are. Whee! Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Must be where they registered the prisoners before transferring them to a cell block. Could you imagine... Being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second. Here's something crawling. Wait, let's get out of here! Cover me! Poor Take There we go. Ready to go if I ever level up ever again. Now I'm just doing it out of habit, must be said. Reload. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not realize I was anywhere near death. Jesus Christ. Christ, my health vanished on me. The game, I, I saw someone post about this as well, but it's very much a thing in that. It's very hard in this game to know when you're near death sometimes. There's no, like, big visual cues, I would say, to say you're being shot or being eaten or whatever, you know? It can be very hard to keep track of, weirdly enough. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. I don't like you, Mathis. Sounds like someone needs to grow up, huh? If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. He started it. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Okay, come on, buddy. I'm gonna shotgun it up, I think. God, just slow. What's that? Wait, what? What's going on here? That was weird. <laughs> it's like my wrist never left. <laughs> the whole roof's coming down. Damn it! Like, 
him do his thing. I'm busy. I think I need to put this one in, yeah. What? I auto slotted. Ah, oh, no, auto slot just broke on me entirely. Fantastic. What is going on? <laughs> right, it, it, it does this sometimes where it just breaks a little bit. Um, it has to be those two for the final layer. It has to be. So it has to be these two for this one. Has to be. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Sometimes when you back up. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Hey Mathis. Stick with the plan. The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. We should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. I'm not betraying Delgado. Oh, come on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever going to have a chance like this again? Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Where is he? Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, I'm sure Neva would. <laughs> I'm sure Neva would love that plan. I'm sure she would have no issues with that whatsoever. Not gonna happen. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. No, you weren't. Now let's find a way out of here. Are we still just gonna be friends, despite the fact that you just suggested murdering? Look, at the end of the day, I'm not here to progress through the fleet. I'm not here to make any money. We're here to. I guess that's one way through. We're here to undermine the fleet, and in order to undermine the fleet, we have to stay in good stead with the fleet, and that includes Delgado. So no more funny business, you, Mathis, in numpty. But yeah, um, there's definitely the digipics are definitely a little bit bugged. As you could see there, <laughs> several different bugs there. The auto didn't work, and. The colour didn't work because I'd back. It's basically when you backtrack, it breaks hey, things. Alive up there. Come on, we need these doors open. So the two of you made it, huh? What's this angle? This is blowing my mind. <laughs> Close one, we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, Try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Cricks. You both got that? Sir, yes, sir. Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. A bit late for that. Well, he's I got his bright ideas. I am never putting ice in me drinks ever again. Oh, because there's ice everywhere and it annoys him, right? Okay. That was confusing for me. <laughs> uh, nothing in here. Doesn't look like a... Oh, dead person. Hello, dead person. Must have been my imagination. Creds? Like, I don't need creds, but... I'm not gonna turn them down, you know? <laughs> I'm not- I'm not a- I'm not a crazy person. It's a hammer. I don't think I've ever seen a hammer. Right. Security controls. Override lockdown. Lovely. What else can we do? Limbs message. Lock intra prison lock intra prison message system from Warden Tom Gillespie to transfer area operations. Please be advised all prisoners are to be classified and sent to their proper intake areas based on the following criteria. A block standard. B block standard. C block violent. D block high risk prisoner. E block solitary confinement. 
Please be aware we have a Class 5 extremely dangerous, highly violent prisoner transfer occurring today, Jasper Cricks. He'll be arriving on Shuttle 5 with a full escort detail. Individual is to be immediately transferred to D-Block after arrival. Do not attempt to search or perform standard medical examinations until the prisoner is in a secure location. I urge all security personnel not to underestimate Cricks' ability to escape. Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. So, I mean, we're heading to D-Block. And that's where Crix was. Sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like a winning combo. Hello, dead person. I guess these are all dead from the uh, from the rebellion, essentially. <clears throat> all right, next up. Dum da dum. Activate auxiliary power to D block, and we've got some more messages. Please be advised, we are taking all staff complaints regarding the intolerable temperatures within the lock very seriously. Unfortunately, our facility has been provided a poorly engineered heating system that is woefully insufficient to combat the cold, leaving some sections of the prison at temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius. That sounds like heaven to me, but moving on. Administration understands the conditions within the lock are less than ideal for staff, so we ask for your patience while we wait for an improved system to be delivered from New Atlantis. In the meantime, portable heating units and cold weather gear has been made available for assignment. The security alert has been issued to all personnel. It's been brought to our attention that some of the prison population has discovered a way to create improvised weapons by carving chunks of permafrost from cell block walls. Thermal coils from portable heating units have been cannibalized and used to manufacture these dangerous items. Therefore, security has no choice but to remove the portable heating units from all prison cells. Extra blankets and cold weather gear such as jackets and thermal undergarments will be distributed to replace the units. If you observe any prisoner in possession of an improvised weapon, be certain to activate a blue alert before approaching the subject. I'd like to I'd like to congratulate Brian Richard for winning last month's trivia contest. This month's questions are below. Good luck. What type of star pulsates rapidly, which causes it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminance? No idea. What's another name for a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after a supernova? No idea. What is the second brightest star in New Atlantis' night sky? No idea. What are the largest known structures in the universe? No idea. What is the graph called on which the intrinsic brightness of stars is plotted against their temperatures? Absolutely no idea. Would they know this? They're prison guards. <laughs> Why would they be? What's that over there? What is that over there? I'm oh, sorry. I mean, what's that over there? All right, this place is this place is pretty cool looking. Looks like there's a guard tower in the cell block. We should check it out. Why not just build a normal prison? Why carve it into the ice itself? What do you expect to happen? Wait, combat? What? <laughs> Game? <laughs> Do you know something I don't? Should I be scared? That boost back one is wild. It just it just does whatever the heck it wants, honestly. It's not one that I can train. It's one that I'm assuming I'll eventually complete. This is very cool. Is that a thumbnail? I think that's a thumbnail. I don't usually like using locations for the thumbnails, they're better for just general shots, but, you know, it's what it is. I don't know, I've, I've, been, I've been lowering these filters, but I think these look really good, actually. Where's my beloved? I, like, I really like, hmm... It's just the crunch one's a nice way to just add Take some. This. Easy intensity, basically. You know what? This is probably a great gun, but it sounds awful. And that's very important. It's very unsatisfying to use. Cell release switch is locked. Listen to it. Ugh, for a shotgun? No, I want a pachow! <laughs> Yo, I want giant explosive noises. Do I want to open these? There's nothing in there, it's just a dead person. I'm a little worried that if I start opening these cell blocks, there's going to be like a... I'm going to open one, and we'll see what's inside. But, um... It's a prison, so I don't want... I don't want to get in the habit, you know? And it costs me a digi pick every time. Also, I hate novice ones, as we've established. I think that is correct. And that's that one. 
I just placed it down originally wrong. I wasn't really looking. See, that that looks tempting, right? But that's wrong. All right, let's put this one in first. Say again, this can't be right. Can it? Oh, it can. That fits. I didn't think that fit. That blew me away for a second there. I was, I was really annoyed. <laughs> Green fashionable suit. No. Oh, maybe this is a better thumbnail. I didn't think about that. It's a dead prisoner. It's kind of dead frozen prisoner. It's kind of perfect. I mean, it's not perfect for him. He's dead. I'm frozen. Also, it does mean I've had several corpses as my thumbnails lately. <laughs> I don't know how many corpses I can have as thumbnails before it becomes a thing. Eh, yeah, we'll see. I'll pick something. On we go. There's a little box. Oh, I see Digipix on the side. Oh, come on, then. Bloody Nora. I tell you what, if I hadn't already maxed out my lockpicking, however, I'd be very happy about this situation. That one and that one at the bottom. Sure. I tell you, advanced. Easier than novice. No word of a lie. I'm just going to assume that's correct. That was a stupid mistake, apparently, because they're both wrong. Okay, let's try that one instead. Um... I think I probably want to get this one in there. No, maybe over here if I can. I can't. There? No. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Only one of these is correct, and I don't know which. And it might not even be there. It might be somewhere else entirely. It could be there. Looked out a little bit there, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. Hey, I got my Digipix back. I mean, I think I actually burned through more than I gained, but that's that's not bad. These are not worth it. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I don't need to level up my lock picking. My lock picking is fine. Why is there a Digipix inside a prisoner's jail cell? Somebody explain the logic behind that one to me. It's almost like, for some crazy reason, prisoners don't have a bunch of loot in their cells. I can't think of why that would be, but that does appear to be the case. I can't resist a weapon case, though. What if it's an upgrade? What if it's an upgrade? Alright, that one has to go in. Sure. Well, that was stupid, apparently. Life is pain. Nobody say a goddamn word. <laughs> Where's this one meant to fit? I actually don't see where this fits. Are we sure this one fits? It must be that, right? Yeah. That one goes up there. And that one would go there. Yeah. Any good? Obviously, it's not good. Of course, it's not good. Actually, an advanced mag shot's pretty great if you don't already have a. If you, if you want a mag shot. That, you'd probably be filled with that. But I don't want a max shot. Hello. So, have you changed your <laughs> mind yet? <laughs> What's going on? Creeping. No, I'm dying. Did I die? I think I died. Mathis! <laughs> Mathis got me killed. Oh, for the love of God. Mathis! Alright, well, you know what? There was absolutely no loot worth worrying about, so... I am taking the scenic route this time around. Allons-y! Wait, no. Opposite of scenic route. I got there a lot faster this time. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going inside until I know it's clear. Of 
God's sake, it's miles away. Mathis, get out of the way. You're a little nightmare, you, you know that. Come in, come in, come in. Come. <laughs> it's so fast. Bloody hell, the damage is nuts! Absolutely nuts! Alright, we're going upstairs. Saving the game. And we'll enter again next time and hope for a better result. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.